I can now confirm that Tommy has actually been released, he is on bail and the police have taken his phone. I want to thank everyone, as does Tommy, who have been out protesting for him today. It absolutely made a difference. Tommy has asked me to upload the conversation he had with his ex-wife while he was detained for terror-related offences. We will be able to update you all tomorrow. The telephone call with Tommy follows. Yeah, what's going on? So, I'm arrested under the Terrorism Act. Um, this is so that an examining officer can exercise his or her powers under the schedule for the purpose either of determining whether you appear to be a person who is or who has been concerned in the commission, preparation or instigation of acts of terrorism. So, that's what they need me under, so that they can link me. What are you um, meant to have done? Nothing, General. They, 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 they don't... So, after reading me out that, he said, we know you haven't done any of So I said, so why am I here? They interviewed me for six fucking hours. Six hours about yesterday, about the event, about whether I think I can stop the Great Replacement, about Israel. Well, what about a Palestinian state? It's fucking... And I, and I said, well, because you don't have a right to remain silent, yeah? You do not have a right to remain silent. So... Have you had a solicitor? What's that? Have you got a solicitor there? Yeah, it, yeah, but it doesn't matter with the solicitor because under this terrorism legislation, you don't have the right, right to remain silent. So if you don't answer their questions, you break the law, yeah? So it got to then the point of what this has been about. They said, you need to give us a pin code to your phone now. So I obviously said, I'm reading there, I read all their stuff when they, when they grabbed me. Um, and it says, Basically, an examining officer may not ask a question where they have reasonable grounds to believe that the answer to the question would require you to disclose or confirm the identity of a source of journalistic information or disclose information subject to legal privilege. So what I said to them, I said, listen, your top judge, the, the film that I found yesterday, yeah, which I believe this is what's triggered this, yeah, the film that I found yesterday, I'm appealing that case. I'm going, to, and, and that's le this is legally privileged information, because that judge fell out with his own dad before my case. Yeah, so he sh and that's new evidence. So he should have excused himself, and he didn't. Now you want access to my phone, do you? Which has every single bit of my legal stuff on it, so that you can. Pr and, and also, not just that, I'm a journalist. And I interview, and I've dealt with, and, I'm, and I've got, I'm, I'm pre-working on um, another episode in Telford that involves a Labour MP, yeah? So, you, I can't, when, when I sit down and girls tell me their stories, they tell me because they don't trust you. They don't trust you, because you fucking hit the evidence in Rotherham. You let them down in every town and city, and now you want me to give you what they've told me. I said, oh, in, in, in confidence, I said, it's just not happening. It's not happening. They've charged me, Jen, under the terrorism act. So what's going to happen now? I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm getting charged, so I don't know. Will you get bail? Um, I, I hope I get bail, Jen, so... There's, um, there's a demo going on now at Downing Street. Is there? I think Lawrence Fox has organised it. Go on, Lawrence. Yeah. Where has it gone out there? Has that gone? Has it got? Did, did you get the video? Because I was, I was, they jumped on me. Because I, I, I was videoing them and I tried to send the video. Did it send through? No, all I got was a voice note saying I've been nicked. That's it. Um, uh, so then I started because and then I done a video and then they jumped on me. Yeah, no. Did then you? they. So I was sat there. Yeah. From set. Oh, I think it's about half seven. Man. And then it went till ten o'clock because they're only allowed to. They're only allowed six hours. Yeah, under this legislation to question her. But they detained me. So they detained me before questioning me. So I, then they had to, it was 10 o'clock, quarter past 10 is when they, whenever I sent me that voice line. But I'd sat, I'd sat there for hours, for fucking hours. I knew something, I knew it. And, and you know what? And, and I said, so they had it ready. So it wouldn't matter where I went, airport, port, wherever I went, I was getting grabbed. So. Okay, what do you want me to do now? Um, just make sure the kids are all right. Make sure the kids don't think that that, because reading that online is going to terrify them. What, that you're yeah? a terrorist? <laughs> no, I'm being arrested, I'm a terrorist. Do you know what, I said to the copper, because we can't remain silent anyway, so I said, these bastards are openly supporting Hamas. You don't arrest them. 
They're flying ISIS, they're flying ISIS flags. You don't arrest them. You're nicking me for what? Yeah, you haven't got a crime, but you're looking for one. It's mental. You want to download my phone so you can try and find anything. That's what you're trying to do. And not just that, but if you're not trying to find anything, you want to know what I'm up to. They asked me so many questions about our event yesterday. What are we trying to achieve? When are you next doing it? What's your next plans? What do you think of the government? I was like, this is, what, what is this? He said, what do you think of the United Kingdom, Great Britain? I said, a tyrannical fucking state, look at you. I've done nothing. Why am I nicked under the terrorism act? This is a total abuse of power. But, um, but they charge me. They are charging me. I'm waiting to be charged now. So they've transferred me from the, the port to, uh, I'm in the police. I'm in the police station. Who, what son is it has represented you? Is it someone called Francis? Yeah, that is. Uh, what was his name? He's from Carson K. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did he bring you? Yeah. Yeah, he said, it's not him, because okay. he, it's, it's another solicitor now. But, uh, I just thought, I've got, I'll, I'm away with the kids in two days. Oh, no. I fucking hate him. <sighs> anyway. So they took my phone, yeah, so they seized my phone either way, so, when I do get away, I ain't got a phone. Do you know how much that's going to set me back? Do you know what I've got on that phone? Oh, I've got my work and that. Everything. Um, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> used to this by now, but. How's my mum? Yeah, she's alright, yeah. Because she'll be panicking on the fuck. Yeah, no, she's okay. <laughs> okay, what, what went out and how, what, how did they get got to this list and tell you what they did on that? Um, that I don't think they actually knew at that point. So what went out? Just I've been arrested. Uh, no, it's it's gone out that you've been arrested under the Terrorism Act. Okay. Yeah, and then Nick Lowes has put something out saying, "Were you trying to flee the country?" Silly prick! I said to the uh, the cops, asked me that. I said, "Mate, I'm dropping a car off. I'm dropping a car off with mate. I've mm. got." And I'm leaving stuff there. Like, just give me a break, you know what I mean? But, um, all right. So what is it now? Just a waiting game to see whether you get bail? Yeah. Okay, so who do I contact at Carson K? Uh, so Tana's at a wedding, Tana's away. I don't think John Terry, but the geezer's name was, like, I'm going to have an interview soon with this litter. Same shit, you can't, you know, you don't have a right to remain silent, eh? And you have to. So basically, because I've said, and, and I said, I'm a journalist. You don't get access to my sources. My sources of information give me information about you, yeah? I do documentaries against the establishment of government, as if I'm going to let you know who tells me stuff. But that's privileged. You don't get to see that. Then they say, well, well, we'll charge you then. Well, you're, you're going to get convicted of terrorism. Oh my God. What, what will a conviction for terrorism do? I won't be able to go anywhere, will I? No. What the fuck, man? But surely they can access your phone anyway without the passcode. I don't think they can with the Apple. I don't think they can. I don't think they can, Jim. Well, if they do anything, can't they? It's the fucking them up. But... I don't know, enough. But I couldn't even just back and forward with people that I talk to about stuff, like work and that. I can't let them, but I just can't. Nah. So, I'm, uh, uh, just, uh, how many views is off, is that documentary on? Seven mil. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Make sure, Jenna, he quote tweets it with, after exposing the corruption of the judiciary, charged with terrorism within 24 hours. Okay. It's so fucking blatant, man. Mm. But do you know what else? What? I've had enough of this blue, <laughs> this fucking blue metal already, man. Mm. Probably got two years of it coming up. <laughs> oh, been 10 hours. Oh, don't, man. I've got a headache. I'm fucking sweating. I was in that, not in here, it's all right in here, but in that last place I was in. But, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'll ring it up and just, uh, just 
Shem on Exodus River, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And um, if you actually just share this and tell them, we came, we saw, we conquered. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still happy about how great London went. I'm yeah. still happy. I'm still fucking like, like, stick the terrorism charge up your ass. We had a great day. Oh we and, uh, and all this is going to do is just galvanise people more. They're so thick, so stupid. It don't work. Mm. Seven okay. million. Wow. wow. Yeah, and how long ago was that? That was about an hour ago, maybe. Mm. Wow. Do you know what that does, yeah? That makes it so makes it so humiliating for them. If they want to send me to jail, yeah, for two years, whatever they want to do, seven million people know that they're lying and they're corrupt. And uh, yeah, hopefully more people that. share it and talk about it. Anyway, <laughs> I'll probably be on a maximum K security by tomorrow. Mental. Um, I'm not, man. I, I need to. I need that time with the kids. So I'll, I'll see you there. Are the kids there? Yeah. Mm, the eldest yes, son. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey. Hi, Dad. Alright, darling. You alright? Yeah, are you? Yeah. Okay, Just do right. what you can to get bail, please, because you're meant to be taking I'll on be holiday. Absolute, I'll be absolutely <laughs> fine no matter what, right? <laughs> yeah. Love you all. Right. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. What do you think about that? Let us know in the comments section below this video and subscribe to Unseen Report for the latest updates.